Enormous pavilions full of hundreds of cars and by the end of the day, tired aching feet. Yes, it's the biennial Frankfurt Motor Show again and it's as big as ever. Volkswagen declared its intention to be a leader in electric and hybrid cars and it rolled out its first pure battery models including a Golf. But in many ways the thinking has already moved to plug-in hybrids. They're the choice of some of the premium players at the sports car end of the market and Porsche rolled out its 918 Spyder and the word that it had cracked seven minutes round the Nürburgring, an incredible feat for a production car. Another Volkswagen brand with a plug-in hybrid was Audi, which showed its sports quattro concept, an homage to its rally winners from 30 years ago. BMW is another that believes plug-in hybrids are the way of the future, and it had to show the production-ready version of its i8, a sports car under its environmental i sub-brand. Everyone agrees though that there's still plenty of life left in the internal combustion engine and this was the case in the Mercedes-Benz Concept S-Class Coupe which is powered by a turbo 4.7 litre V8. Jaguar showed the CX-17, a crossover that demonstrates the potential of its new aluminium platform. Volvo did a similar exercise with its coupe concept. This is an echo of its P1800 from the 1960s and it shows the flexibility of its new platform engineering. Designs and wacky concepts are not Frankfurt's thing but there were one or two. Citroen came up with one of the duddest car names in the Cactus. Now this heralds a new no-nonsense sub-brand called Sea Line and its remarkable feature is air capsules on its sides that can absorb impacts. This is Philip King reporting for The Australian from Frankfurt Motor Show.